All right, you beautiful peoples of the internet. So we're going to take a little look now at the new update for Vampire, a game I've already done a little bit of a recording off, but that was before I had a PS5 update. So apparently the new PS5 update allows it to run at 60 FPS. And we're going to go and check that out now. Not a bad game, actually. It was given away as a free plus game a few months ago. Very dark, moody, um, based in sort of Victorian era London, sort of Jack the Ripper type uh, aesthetic to the game. Right. I'll continue with uh, one of my last saves. So we'll just let this load up. So obviously the new update doesn't make it a proper PS5 game. So the loadings will still be like they were on PS4. But I always welcome a 60 FPS update, especially on 30 FPS games. Um, I think it's really important when, especially if you're using larger televisions, you know, 55, 65 inch TVs, 30 frames a second can look very choppy uh, on those televisions where 60 frames a second certainly improves uh, the smoothness and uh, the butteriness of the uh, game itself. It'll also Im improve um, input latency as well if a game is running at 60 FPS. You go down to about 16.6 milliseconds of latency rather than 33 mil uh, milliseconds, of millise milliseconds of latency. So let's get past all this loading. And we're in Pembroke Hospital, which is sort of one of the mainstays of the game. And we can see straight away. Oh, lovely. Lovely buttery and smooth. Um, I'm not really going to do much in the way of gameplay here. Let's just jump out my window here. As you can see. Oh, but the only thing is, is <laughs> I don't know if you saw that in the back foreground there. Or the background. Some of the character models update at a much lower frame rate at distance. So that can look quite jarring. Um... Let's try and find a fight somewhere. I can remember how to run. Okay, let's just pop over the bridge. I'm all, always very happy to see these 60 FPS games coming out, uh, updates coming out for PlayStation. Right, Whitechapel. This is classic Black the Ripper, uh, Jack the Ripper territory. Oh, there's blood on the floor. Oh, oh this guy's a bit. So a bit of stuttering then, yeah, there's still a bit of stuttering in the game. But okay, we'll 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 forgive it for that. Right, okay, I'm not allowed through there. Zoom up there. Yeah, as you can see, it definitely got that nice smoothness to it now. Um, where am 
Wait, I'm looking. I'm trying, I was following a blood trail, but I don't know where that's gone. bit of an RPG element to the game as well. Um, you build your character up, you collect stuff, you can craft things, all that. Actually not a bad game and even better now we are running at 60. Plenty of collect if you want to, if you like, if you like your collector bonds, there's loads to collect in this. And I've kind of lost sight of my blood trail now. You can eat a rat, if that's your thing. Lovely. Tasty rats. Tasty rats. Who doesn't love a rat for breakfast? Oh, it looks like the blood's going this way. Oh, maybe I was going the right way at the start. See another rat. Oh, pest control. Get a little trophy for eating too many rats. Get a bit of load in here. It's a shame they couldn't really have pushed the loading out a little bit, but it is what it is. So I'm not going to make this video too long, other than you can see now that the game Vampire is running. It's a lovely 60 frames a second. Not perfect. Um, there was a few little stutters in there and a few little jitters, but all in all, very welcome. And I'm, I dare say if they're still updating it, then you know they might get another update in the future to maybe help improve the loading or or something like that. Let's have a little look upstairs, see if we can find whoever the character was we were chasing. It's locked. Oh classic. Just take the seat another round. First for blood. Oh. Let's see if we can fall out. Oh, look, 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 look. Get away from me! Now touch me with your disgusting ass! Okay, that was what that was about. We found some sort of letter. And uh, I'll probably just do it for now, I think. Touch me with your disgusting hands! Oh. Right, hopefully we've saved the guy in here. Might get a bit of a cutscene. Let's rob the bastard blind. And we'll have a little chat. We'll what? see what the cutscenes are in. What happened? Who are you? It's all right, sir. You're safe now. Oh, a fellow Englishman. Thank you, sir. For a moment I thought those bloody heathens would kill me. What are you doing here? This place is not safe. Yeah, it's a cesspool, but it's mine. I came to collect some overdue rent, but those who still live here have gone completely bonkers. You're very lucky to be alive. Yeah, filthy immigrants. Fucking savages, every one of them. And now with this bloody fever, they're just animals. You can find safety of sorts in Whitechapel. If you're quick and cautious, you'll be able to avoid the savages. Right. So Robert. Right, so I think we're pretty much done there for the video. You can see that the game. There's a few hitches and stutters in there though. I, I can see them. But apart from that, all looking lovely jibbly. So, yeah, Vampire, if you've got it in your PS Plus collection, definitely worth uh, a download on your PS5. If you haven't, 
Well, bad luck for you. Um, should, have done, should have put it in your plus collection when it was available, as you should do all the games that are plus games, because you never know. You never know when a game gets an update. I mean, you look at certain games that have had updates that have completely changed the game uh, moving forward. I mean, when Fortnite came, I mean, not, this obviously doesn't really count, it was never a plus game, but. Um, Fortnite was, uh, when it first released, was classed as a mediocre game. Then they brought out an update, they had the Battle Royale, and the rest is history. You know, you never know when a game's update can completely change it. So, um, yeah, I think we'll leave it there. It almost looks like I've got a crash, actually, so maybe... No, there we are, no, it is loading, so sometimes it can stutter, hitch on the loading as well, but... That was on the PS4 version. So this has been Glyn, Cheapskate Gaming News and Tech Reviews. Here's a little bit of gaming news for a change. And this is Vampire, 60 frames a second. Update. Ready for Halloween. Oh, 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 oh. Bye now.